So to conduct a static brake test, we're going to move the master switch away from neutral. We're going to put it into a direction so we can get control of our brakes. Uh, one of the first things we're going to have to do is to acknowledge vigilance by uh, uh, placing our foot on the DSD. Uh, now we're in a direction we've acknowledged the, the DVD. We can uh, make a note of our system pressures. So we've got the main res gauge is uh, between six and a half and seven and a half bar, and the brake cylinder gauge is reading just above three bar. So three to three and a half bar is fine. Uh, well, the first thing we're going to do is move the brake controller into emergency, and we don't want to see any movement in the brake cylinder gauges. So there's the brake handling emergency, and the brake cylinder gauge is indeed still reading three to three and a half bar. Ours is just a bit over three. So back into full service again, we're going to have to re-acknowledge the DVD by pressing the DSD. Again, no movement in the brake cylinder gauges, and we're reading three to three and a half bar. So into step two, and we want to observe between two to two and a half bar on the brake cylinder gauges. That's in step two, and we're reading just above two, so that's well within the two to two and a half bar. In step one, we're reading one to one and a half bar on the brake cylinder gauge. And now momentarily into release, we're going to watch the needle drop towards zero, but we're not going to let it get all the way to zero before we place the brake handle back into step one. Now we're in step one, we're going to test the DSD. We want to make sure the DSD, when released, gives us a full service brake application within two to three seconds. There we go. Just, just above three bar. Put back on the DSD. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place the brake handle back all the way up into full service just observing the pressures on the way up 